Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at Wi-Fi Easy Connect onboarding of G6 sensors and service rate limiting feature. So let's get started with Wi-Fi Easy Connect on onboarding first. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can first take configuration steps on the central side, and then we are going to look at from the UX dashboard side. So let's look at the central side first. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to configure DPP enabled SSID on the central. For that, you would need AOS 10 capable APs with 10.4 and above. So the first thing is to configure the double LAN or the SSID on that. So let's configure SSID in WLANs. And as you can see, I already have this configured, which is Wi-Fi Easy Connect uh, with the security as DPP here. Make sure you have the bridge mode and native VLAN or whatever static VLAN that you have. The important step here is when you click on the security, you need to select DPP option so that it will get DPP enabled settings. And then the rest of the settings can be same and you can save the settings here. After configuring this, you need to check the radio profiles. And inside the radio profile, we have to provision DPP for both the radios in this DPP provisioning. So make sure you have this checkbox checked for default radio profile or any radio profile that you have. Then the next step is to go back to the global and configure cloud auth for this sensor. So you can go to the security and then we can go to this authentication and policy config and make sure that I have this client access policy configured and set for the DPP enabled SSID that I just created. So I will select this SSID or the WLAN and I will make sure that this is enabled and I save the config. All right, once you configure this one, the next step is to make sure that on the UX side, dashboard side, you have central integration already pre-configured and it should say the Wi-Fi Easy Connect DPP key sync complete. And you can follow the Aruba central integration for this one. Then next step is to add the sensors using this groups and sensors or sensors and agents option. Make sure you add serial number and MAC address of G6 or G6C because only those sensors are capable for DPP enabled right now. And once you submit this, you can go back to the Aruba Central to check whether those are talking to Central Cloud using the Cloud Auth. So how to check that? You can cancel this, and then you can go back to the security, authentication and policy, and make sure that the access requests are coming from that sensor, and it's showing accepted. And then you can click on this and you can make sure that this access policy of DPP is enabled on that sensor and rest of the other configs as well. Also, there is one more thing to verify or validate those sensors are talking to the cloud using DPP enabled SSID is going into the clients and searching for that sensor using either a host name or an IP address if that IP address is gotten connected to the AP that we have. All right, so once this is done, uh, you can easily onboard the sensor. And then once the sensor is onboarded, you can go to the service and app test and configure your testing and start testing. And it should quickly start testing as soon as possible. Now let's look at the next feature, which is service rate limiting. So service rate limiting feature is enabled for all the internal and external applications. So if I click on the service and app test and go to either internal or external predefined one, I should see this new option now, which is frequency. Frequency was previously there for our other type of test like throughput test and the web application test, but we have now expanded frequency option for all the tests in the dashboard. So you can select the test frequency from 10 minutes, as low as 10 minutes to as more as or as long as 12 hours. Then the new option here is the rate limit. So which is optional. If I apply the rate limit, 
you will get another option to select how many tests per minute that you want to execute on a fleet of sensors. So once you configure this, you should see the difference in the test. So let's look at one of the tests here. Let's look at Twitter test with service rate limiting and Twitter test without service rate limiting. So let's look at the first without service rate limiting. So as you can see, if I go back to the last one hour, I can see that my Twitter is executed quite frequently and just want to give you how many times it executed is like almost 1543 to 1554. That means after every 10 minutes is executed. But let's say if I want to get service rate limiting to limit the executions, I apply this one hour of frequency and 15 tests per minute. And after that, I'm seeing that this test has been executed just thrice within one hour of time frame. So if I expand this and I could see that this is expanded or executed up to three times here. So yeah, that's all for my end for service rate limiting and DPP enabled onboarding using UXI sensors for G6 and G60. Thank you everyone and I'll see you into the next video.